Hey guys and welcome back to Thinking Out Loud where I challenge perceptions through education and humour empowering others to be more disability confident. As you can see from the title this is going to be a pretty ranty video so grab yourself a drink, sit down and dive in the comments with your thoughts and opinions. Covid-19 was officially declared a pandemic on the 11th of March. That's my birthday by the way just in case anyone cares and I, like a lot of people, was kind of unperturbed by it all. I'm not going to lie, I really just thought, okay, this is just the flu, it's not really that important, and only really the kind of vulnerable people slash older people are the ones that are going to get ill. And as most of you may know, I was getting married on the 16th of March, so everything I had was really zoning in on my wedding and preparing for that so I brushed it under the carpet quite a lot in comparison to my own grandparents who I was on the phone to leading up to our wedding saying didn't know if they were going to be able to make it because they were old and ill and I was just like that's fair enough that is your decision to make but personally I didn't really think about the severity of COVID-19 and, and what it could do I'm very fortunate that Grant and I managed to get married on the 16th of March and it was a spectacular, sunny, glorious day filled with a lot of our friends and family that could make it. But really, I want to sit and chat with you because I personally am in the extremely high risk, vulnerable category. And for those that don't know, I'm blind because of arthritis. Arthritis is an autoimmune condition which is essentially your body attacking itself. For me to not be in a wheelchair 24-7 and I started having this treatment long before I went totally blind so it was to combat me losing my sight completely, I'm on immunosuppressants which essentially means the common cold is a consistent thing in my life and I'm never not unwell. I'm I'm very lucky that, you know, I've never been severely, severely ill. But it wasn't until after we came home from the wedding and we were watching the news and Boris put us all on lockdown that I really looked into it a lot further and how I, as a person with no immune system, could be truly affected by this and it scared me. And I guess the whole reason of this video, the whole reason of this vlog, is to just stress to you guys that I personally probably to the outside world look healthy I look fit I look well and yet if I come in contact with anyone that has the symptoms I am quite likely to die and the way that the government have been putting people through everything at the moment because there's such a shortage of ventilators doctors nurses and everyone on the front line I'm not only going to die but I'm going to be at risk of losing my life because I'm going to be a patient that's not seen as a priority because I have no immune system I would be on a DNR list do not resuscitate and with this being a respiratory virus obviously it's your heart and your lungs that need to keep going if you are affected by this and I am really and truly appalled at the amount of people that I am seeing and yes I'm blind but I still can see by listening and reading the internet and watching the news by how many people are going out and having it like this big party this big jolly they we're not on lockdown for a laugh guys we're on lockdown because coronavirus has spread from China all the way around the world and it continues to spread because people who are infected may not even know that they're infected or a carrier are going out to their everyday lives visiting friends and family going to the local shops doing whatever they want and they are passing it along to the elderly to the people who are vulnerable to the people who are at high risk like me and we are the ones that are dying and quite frankly, I'm really angry at people's selfishness. I don't understand that why does it have to affect you 
personally or someone in your life for you to understand just how serious this is. I don't understand why you think it's okay to go out and socialise with friends and family and not take any consideration into the reason why these stringent measures have been put in place. I said I'm a vulnerable person, but I'm actually in the category of vulnerable people. I'm not the only one. And what I mean by that is, it says stay safe and stay at home. But do you know how many people are in domestic abuse situations, whether that's children or adults, who probably will lose their lives because we're on lockdown and this lockdown is going to continue for months? Do you know how many people suffer with mental health issues and are probably going to take their life because they're used to the world continuing with a daily grind of their job and maybe seeing their loved ones and that's the only thing that keeps them alive? And all this contact being cut off will eventually lead to them feeling that they've got nothing left. Do you not realise that there's elderly people who have care needs that aren't getting these care needs and are, again are completely socially isolated and will probably, quite frankly, wither away and die because they don't have that support in place. I am not talking about the people that just have no immune systems and are ill. I'm talking about all the other people that are affected by this and that you are actually putting at risk by being selfish and not staying home. I'm urging you right now to stay at home if you're not a priority worker, if it's not a necessary journey and unless you're doing your 30 minutes of exercise. I don't see this getting any better and I'm sorry to say it's because of people like yourself who are choosing to disregard the measures put in place. The longer you keep doing this, the longer the lockdown is going to happen and the more deaths are going to happen and not just from COVID-19 but the knock-on domino effect that has to the rest of the community. Please think, and if you can, stay at home.